Chesh, welcome to the channel. My name's Rob, and in today's video, we're going to see how the Poles like to portray Mr. Adolf Hitler in a sitcom called The 13th PlayStation. So, come and join me. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's go. Before we start, I just want to read what this is actually about so I understand it a little bit better. This is an excerpt from one of the episodes from the hit sitcom The 13th Police Station. The series was broadcast between 97 and 98. This clip was from episode 19 of season 2. The characters, uh, Cersei, Cersei, who is the constable, constable in this video, he's playing Hitler. You've got uh, Vodsevav, Vodsevav, uh, who is the commandant. He plays Hermann Goering. Uh, you've got Arnold or Arnie, who is the senior constable, and he is playing Jaoshim, Jaoshim von Ribbentrop. Vidon, Ribbentrop. Yeah. Uh, in this episode, the police station crew tries to prepare Cersei's sister for her A levels, which is the equivalent to your Matura. Uh, to do this, they present their interpretations of historical scenes from different eras, in this case, World War II. <laughs> Powyrywany mi skrzydełka. O co chodzi? Dzwonił Stalin. Czego chce ten brutal? Chce napaść na Polskę i pyta, czy się przyłączysz. Polska? A gdzie to jest? No obok. To tam, gdzie mieszkają Polacy? No. Są słabi, nie mają samolotów, a ich przywódcą jest jakiś grzyb. Ryc. Śmigł. Pamiętam go. Podobały mu się moje motylki. No to jak, napadamy czy nie? No nie wiem. A nie moglibyśmy napaść na Bułgarię? Nie. Dlaczego? Bułgaria jest za daleko. Możemy napadać po sąsiedzku. A co ci zrobiła Bułgaria? Nie chcieli wystawy moich obrazów, świnie. I can tell, and I'm hoping this is for the comedy purpose, right? You've got the guy playing Goering, okay? And then you've got the guy playing Hitler. Goering is being played by a very stern, very monotone, very straight. Adolf Hitler, though, the character is quite feminine. Um, he's painting butterflies with wings missing. So it's sort of... Now, bear in mind, it was from the late 90s, so we're not going to judge... I'm not going to judge necessarily how they want to portray him. But clearly... They are making Hitler look that he is a little bit crazy. Uh, he is immature. Uh, he doesn't necessarily think things through. And they're, so they, by doing this, they are portraying Hitler in a belittling sort of manner. And I think that's what a lot of people would do now, right? A lot of people do that. If they do a, a sketch, a sitcom, whatever it is, and they include an Adolf Hitler character most of the time unless it's a serious film most of the time he is an absolute widow that seems out of his mind is very childish um, you've got quite similar in Jojo Rabbit for example Jojo Rabbit is a fantastic film amazing film uh, one of my favorite and and yeah is it Hitler's the imaginary friend and, and is a little bit lost the plot and I like what they're doing here with this character because when you have these these evil characters um, and you're portraying them, you can't, unless it's a serious dramatic film, you have to have it in a way that makes him look silly, right? <laughs> they all hate his paintings. Mongołowie, Meksykanie, Masajowie. Göring. Tak, my Führer. Get in there, find out! That's got to represent the fact that Adolf Hitler was known to have complete outbursts, wasn't he, right? People that were trying to guide him, uh, he would 
you, these people that were around Adolf Hitler had to be extremely careful because Adolf Hitler would go berserk, right? Poland 50-50. When do you want to kill? 17 Wrzesień. Send your minister to Matowa, so you can sign this letter. Then we say, send our minister. Call Rippentrop. He said Ribbentrop. The trap is Polish. A dead body. Oh. To znaczy, że się zgadzasz, bo. Hmm. Z Polakami będą kłopoty. Na co dzień są nieznośni, ale uwielbiają, jak się na nich napada. Zaraz nam zrobią ruch oporu i wszyscy się zmienią w partyzantów. A poza tym będą się śmiali z moich sztuki. Już się śmieją. To dostaliśmy dziś od naszego agenta Klosa. Uh, this is what we got today from our agent Kloss. Kloss is a character from another cult Polish TV series from 1968. Uh, Stake more than life. He was a Polish spy in the German army. Nice bit of facts there, or history. Siekiera, motyka, piłka, alasz. Przegra wojnę, głupi malarz. Wojnę? Hang on, let's go back. So a lot of this, there's, um, there's a lot of historical stuff. So uh, that's why um, uh, Marcin did, 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 these, did these caption subtitles for me with extra little bits of, of detail. So uh, he <laughs> axe, hoe, ball, alash, alas, alash. Uh, a foolish painter will lose the war. Uh, words of a song written by... Gzesiek. You don't pronounce the R apparently. Uh, World War II survivor. Nice. Wojny, głupi, malarz. I love Wojny? these references. Jestem malarzem pokojowym. Dzieci śpiewają to na każdym podwórku. O nie, nie napadamy. <laughs> Jak ich napadniemy, będzie jeszcze gorzej. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I have to bring this up. I know this is this is this is about the thirteenth PlayStation. I get that. I love that thing there, whether it all go high, high, high. Um in Jojo Rabbit when the SS come into the house and literally there's loads of them, they all go high, high, high. <laughs> it just takes about five minutes for them all to Heil Heil Hitler. Co cię sprowadza, Ribentrup? Wodzu, mam złe wieści. Polacy odrzucili nasze ultimatum w sprawie twojej wystawy w Zachęcie? Mimo, że zagroziłem, że jak się nie zgodzą, to zaczniemy im zrzucać moje obrazy z samolotu. Tak jest. Powiedziałem, że mogą wystawić twoje obrazy gdziekolwiek, to odpowiedzieli, że na widok motylków bez skrzydełek mają odruch wymiotny. Nie znalazło się ani jedno miejsce, gdzie mógłbym się powiesić. Niestety, próbowałem wszędzie, nawet na poczcie. Gdzie? Na poczcie, w Gdańsku. Gdańsku, co mam z German. Ale poczta jest polska. <laughs> Więc to tak? Wszyscy mnie olewają? <laughs> Everything is going wrong for Mr. Adolf Hitler, so he is getting angry and angry, more upset, more tantrums. <laughs> Zobaczą moje obrazy. Moje malarstwo jest tego warte. Powiedzcie Stalinowi, że napadamy jutro. Zabierzemy im tę pocztę. I wszystkie inne. Moje motylki. 
dzięki będą wisiały na pocztach całej Europy! Potem świata! It's literally turned into one of his rallies, right? You can hear the background noise of all the people, uh, you know, at the massive stadiums and things, can't you, when he's doing his speeches. And they are quite powerful. And he, this guy is actually doing it quite well. It's very powerful, his, his, his propaganda speeches. Wydamy je na pocztówkach. Później przyjdzie czas na znaczki pocztowe. I nie przestaniemy, dopóki wszyscy listonosze nie poznają się na... That must be the sister. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. That was really, really good. I, I just, I, I love the way that they portrayed Hitler. Now clearly he's he's doing a lesson in history and he's not really Hitler. Um, but it, I, as I said, I, I love the way that the two characters, Goering and Hitler, the real straight character, and Hitler who is up and down with his emotions and you don't know how he's going to react and behave. And they play him as sort of a, a childish, immature person who just wants his paintings to be seen in art galleries. <laughs> that's all, it's almost portraying it that that's why the war started because he wasn't appreciated as an artist. <laughs> I, I, really, really good. Um, I'd love to know if you've seen this before. Is this a good interpretation of Mr. Adolf Hitler? That's what I'd like to know. Do you think that's a good one? Do you think he was similar to that in real life? I think they've definitely got... From what we've learned at school and, and and TV and things, documentaries, I think there's aspects of that. Like I said, the his emotional ups and downs. I think they probably got spot on. You know, the fact that he goes from oh crying almost and then going berserk and and Goering, the character of Goering there. You know, whoa, um, that was really really. Uh, 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 crazy. I, uh, most of it you question, how is it, how is it teaching her about history? But yeah, I enjoyed that one. I hope you did too. I'm, I'm bringing things out of the woodwork for you guys. We're learning together. We're having fun together. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. If you want to support the channel, we've got merchandise down below. You can become a channel member to support me or you can buy me a coffee as well. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.